don't think we're in bat country anymore, guys. And to be honest with you, I'm not really sure what's eating Gilbert Grape. And we might be on 21 Jump Street. I can tell you, I ain't no Sweeney Todd. Show it to me. Oh, you want me to? You want you want me to show it to you? Guys, look at this ridiculousness. In the words of Gwen Stefani, B A N A N A S. What is this? This is like a Zymetis esque Duesenberg. And by Zymetis, I mean Zymetis guitars used to have either like inlaid mother of pearl, or a lot of them had unbelievable like metal work. And Duesenberg is a company from um, Germany that has now started making pretty badass guitars. This has one of the best tremolos in the business. They made 52 of these, well, at least this version. This is the Johnny Depp Duesenberg from the Hollywood Vampires, as seen on this here pick, the Johnny Depp pick, which is craziness to me. Um, Paul manages Johnny, which again is a crazy thing because you know, you, you get excited for your friends and, and you have these moments in your life where you're like, ah, oh, I got to hang out with Joe Perry. Where Johnny Depp, our buddy Steve Wood spent like a whole bunch of time making sure that Johnny Depp did not go through the front door of any building over the course of an entire tour because he's Johnny Depp because people literally go out of their minds because he's a cultural icon and a pretty freaking damn good guitarist. I don't care what people say, I've seen him. He actually, so little known fact, was at the Viper Room playing guitar the night that River Phoenix OD'd. Uh, so he was playing with Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, so he's not terrible. Um, and that was like a long time ago, because when was uh, the last crusade from Indiana Jones? Like that was a while ago. So he's been playing for a long time. He's actually was a musician before he was a guitarist. Excuse me, <laughs> a musician before he was a guitarist. That was probably accurate too. He was a guitarist before he was an actor. Now, is it better that he's an actor? Probably, because he's a decent guitarist. He's one of the greatest actors in the fucking history of the goddamn game. But Joe Perry and Alice Cooper seem to think he's pretty fucking awesome. And I gotta tell you, I've seen the Hollywood Vampires. They're awesome. That said, this guitar has 52, well, they made 52 of them. They're all tattoos from Johnny's um, body. And the crazy thing is I actually just got a goddamn mandolin, a 1905-ish. Washburn 235. I took video of it for you. Um, that I sent to Johnny on his birthday, which happens to be June 9th, the same as our friend Les Paul, the same synchronistically as our friend Paul Lorenzo. And when I came to Vegas, it was June 9th. What? And I got this mandolin. And on the back was a plate almost identical to this. And it was engraved much like this. And I said to myself, I had to send it to Johnny because I'm neurotic. But the thing I'll tell you about this guitar, it's got this crazy, I forget the name of this pickup. It's like in here, it's a Duesenberg pickup. It's like one of these weird toast, I think they call them like the toaster pickup. Eh, it sounds all right. I mean, like I don't, it does things, but like, let's just be real. It's Johnny's guitar. They made 52 of them. And this is another one where it was one of Johnny's. And if you look at the back, it's, it's signed on the headstock by Mr. Johnny Depp himself. But hold on, see. And I think, I don't know if he remembers or not, but Paul had said to me one time, he's like, do you think it ruins the value if I have like this, this crazy? on the back like are people not gonna want to play it like you you shouldn't play it because first off who cares about a Duesenberg sorry secondly uh yeah Johnny Depp giving you his guitar he played and used in a Rolling Stone photo session which may I add when Paul was picking out the pictures 
I helped him. So that said, could this be any cooler? And does this guy write like the goddamn Mad Hatter? Like, does he? Like, look at it. Like, he's got like X's and question marks, and like, there's a question mark on the fucking control. He's a strange guy, and I just gotta tell you, I love everything about him. Why don't you fucking smash that subscribe button already? <laughs>